stunned. Never in a wildest dream that this boy would ever did anything like this. This could have happened in a little community like this. Simple as that. Typical 17 year old. Easy going. I've known this boy since he was probably this high. I don't know, five, six years old. His grandparents have had custody of him over here. Been raising him. Comes from a good home environment over here. Jack and Carol couldn't want better neighbors. Jack's 81, Carol's in her 70s. They're raising these three grandkids. Gave up their retirement years, their golden years, to see that these grandkids were raised. He'd been having trouble up here at the local Sheridan High School, I guess about a year and a half ago, and I guess the school contacted his grandparents, Jack and Carol, and the counselor and whatnot. They got him enrolled in a program in a city about 15 miles from here as, as an academy for people, kids that are failing in school or having, you know, just problems, I guess, you know, trying to get through school. He went from flunking out, from what I understand, to almost a straight-A student with honors, and he was going to graduate a year early. Go figure. What do you make of it? I still don't. Uh, nightmare that's never going to end. I have no idea. He's helped me around my house. Said, where we all live here, we have two, three, four acre lots. This is out in the country. This isn't a township. This isn't Munson Township. This isn't in the city of Chardon. Always had a smile on his face. Easy going kid. Seen him out in the summertime. Never seen him running the streets in Chardon. A couple times I'd seen him up at Walmart. He, and he never rode anywhere. If he went in a vehicle, yeah. But he never rode a bicycle anywhere. He always walked. He was, I, I guess the best way to describe that is he was kind of a health conscious kid. You would see him outside working out all the time, doing exercises. My heart goes out to the families that lost kids because their life will never be the same. There's victims all around, and I feel sorry for his grandparents on both sides, and I feel sorry for this boy, what he's, what he's brought on himself.